the IDE race has become incredibly competitive, with no VS Code forks emerging almost on a daily. Nonetheless, it is definitely great for the AI space as it encourages more of a competitive environment, and I truly love it. This week alone, we saw Codium AI release Windsurf IDE, which is a new AI agentic IDE that is capable of combining deep code base understanding with advanced AI tools to help you develop and code out anything. We also saw the release of 8, which is a new open source IDE trying to replicate Windsurf's cascade feature. But today, we are going back to the IDE that had started the IDE race, and that is Cursor. For the people who do not know, Cursor is an AI editor that utilizes AI to streamline the development process with AI features like autocomplete, code suggestion, you have code generation, and so much more. It's mostly known for its composer feature, which is Cursor Composer that allows developers to provide high-level instructions for creating entire applications or making complex multi-fault changes. And just today, we have a new update called the 0.43 release, where there is a new composer UI, there's AI agents within the IDE, as well as the at recommended function, which is something that will semantically search for context. This is quite interesting and there's so much more to this. So with that thought, let's get straight into the video. Please keep in mind that this update is rolling out, meaning that it is not accessible for everyone. They're slowly rolling out different access points to various users. So just keep that in mind. You can still check by going through the next procedure, which I'll showcase in the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and showcase how you can install the new update for the people who have cursor already installed. If you do not, you can easily just install it off of their website or you can install it for your operating system. But now for the people who already have an older version of cursor, you can install the new version by simply typing in control or command shift p and this will basically open up the search tab and then you can easily search for cursor attempt update you can just simply click on this and this will install the latest release of the cursor update let's get started now and take a look at the key features in the cursor 0.43 release starting off with the new composer ui features we now have the composer as a tab where the composer is accessible through the command shift i feature and it's now integrated as a tab in your editor just like any file would be this is actually a huge step forward compared to the old overlay ui which is offering a more intuitive and cohesive workspace for developers this feature of the inline diffs is quite big because this basically means that it is now going to show directly within the composer chat and it's going to allow you to review changes on the fly so you can accept them right there or choose to open the file for further edits. And this will overall streamline the whole review process. Next up, we have the composer agent, which is a powerful feature that is gonna enhance your coding workflow. Now, this is a pretty big update because composer is gonna now bring advanced AI capabilities. And this will basically allow for autonomously picking the right context for a task, it's going to allow you to interact with the terminal for automation and debugging and it's going to seamlessly integrate into your existing development process you can easily enable the composer agent by going directly into your composer chat window you can open this chat and you can toggle the agent on and off now you can also do this through the settings where you can navigate through the settings go over to the editor and then you can head over to chat and composer and you can set the enable tool option to activate the composer agent. Just take a look at this demo video of this new agent in action. You can see that it is being requested to build and run the project that has been provided as context. And you can see that it has already analyzed a couple of errors and it's gonna go ahead and install the necessary packages for you. And in this case, it's doing everything autonomously. It's gonna install and create multi files that are necessary for this project. It's gonna then develop the project by generating the code for it. And it's gonna also install the necessary packages all by running terminal commands directly in line, which you can see right here. And at the end, you're gonna see that it's gonna be capable of generating this app for the Mac OS operating system, which you see right here. Now, another cool feature is that they have improved semantic search, 
which is a great improvement that makes the composer agent find files easier with just a few characters and it's going to do it faster and more intuitively. It works quite well and it works similarly to VS Code search which is going to ensure that there's consistently going to be able to recall the best context that is available. There is also this new image dropping experience where they have basically enhanced this by having you hover a file over the composer chat box and it will basically trigger a color change. There's no major functional difference, but it's just a visual cue that adds a small touch to this enhancement. There's also a new pill recommendation in the chat slash composer, which is basically something that we haven't seen yet, but we're gonna soon be able to get a good idea of what this is once they roll out with this update. Now, there's this new feature that isn't actually written in the changelog. It's an experimental feature that's called the bug finder. And essentially, it's helping you identify potential bugs in your code. But this is something that is quite expensive to actually run. They have a warning that states this, that it's an experimental feature, costs can be very high per run. And they also stated that bug finder analyzes code changes between your current branch and the main branch in your remote repository. The best results run it on a feature branches before merging into the main to catch potential issues early in deployment. There's a lot of small things like the improvement of efficiency where they've made the composer more accurate and it's more polished with less bugs. There's also near instant code application and there's enhanced code context understanding where it's going to be able to better analyze and utilize code context and it's going to deliver more accurate recommendations and ac actions so at the end of the day this new composer feature is definitely great with the addition of agents but cursor just seems to keep on elevating the platform and with competition rising they're definitely on their uh i would say toes because they're forced to keep on pushing and innovating better releases but that's essentially it for today's video on the new Cursor 0.43 release. Now I'm definitely going to be making another video which showcases the agent in action where I'm going to be building functional applications with this. So definitely stay tuned as this is something that is going to be revolutionary. Now I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different AI subscriptions on a monthly basis for free. Follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.